This that gas. Lolo, bring that shit back. What up, everybody? It's your boy DJ Lolo tapping in the Smokers Man K, man. I'm just letting y'all know, man, we got to talk about it. Today, we got to have the conversation. But before we have this conversation, make sure you like, share, subscribe this video. Because we're, we're going on a journey today. We got to explain. We got some explaining to do. You know, uh, first off, I want to thank everybody who comes on my page and they view my content and respect with what I got going on. And honestly, it's a blessing to still be on YouTube and be able to do my thing. But I just got to give it to y'all raw and let y'all know, like, the journey was real, you know what I'm saying? Like, it all started back in 2007, you know, when I launched my first video, my first wave video, or really I launched my first video period to my favorite song called Broken, Breaking Backs, um, my first song I ever recorded, and uh, this was back when I was doing music. It all started back when, uh, you know, with a dream, you know, people always ask me, you know, what got you into YouTube and how did you, you know, find your way? I mean, honestly, I never made excuses. Uh, my, uh, But I've always been fortunate and blessed, you know, and I never took every blessing as an opportunity to find a way to capitalize, to gain, to gain, you know, knowledge and further my, my experience in life. You know, so it all comes down to this. Um, this is not going to be a short story. I'm posting this video just to let y'all know, you know, my viewers, my subscribers, let y'all know what I've been doing, why my channel is, how it is now, where y'all can find my other channels, you know what I'm saying? And hopefully we can bridge the gap on what, what it is I was trying to do and the message that I'm trying to put out to the people. And it's simple, you know, it's simply a, a, a young brother such as myself, you know, grinding and putting out content to, to you guys, you know, um, the content all started back when I was, you know, I had hair and I had waves and I was a confident waver. You know, Wave Builder was the product that I was using and I did not know that Wave Builder had unnatural products because I was uneducated on the hair product game. Uh, I just jumped in and used what works for me and not knowing that I had a good grain of hair, I could have used pretty much anything natural and it would have been better results from my hair. Um, unfortunately, you know, I started going bald at the top around 26, 27. You know, I'm 34, just turned 34 this last Wednesday, September 13th. And um, I really just cut it all off when I was 30, when I hit 30 years old. Four years ago, I cut it all off, you know, um, my wave journey started when I was young. I've always had waves, brushing my hair, doing 360 waves. And, you know, the confidence thing was always never a problem for me. It was just always trying to get people to feel me. And, you know, my grandmother, rest in peace, you know, she, she blessed me with my first MacBook, my MacBook Pro. And I looked at it and I was just fascinated by everything, the camera, the how clear it was, how good the screen was. And this was before its time. And before I knew it, I was just sitting in front of the camera, just brushing my hair and, you know, and talking my shit. But I didn't know that. I didn't know how to turn it into content. So I just started recording videos and editing, editing them by myself on um 
on my computer. I shot it on my on my desktop. I mean, not, not on my desktop, on my MacBook Pro screen. Uh, literally, just put the put the laptop on, put it on, you know, the whatever the camera function is on the MacBook, and started shooting. And, you know, started brushing my hair and reviewing the products. And I didn't even know what I was doing. I was marketing for this company that wasn't, that was, you know, that, that shortly led to the demise of my hair going bald. You know what I'm saying? It started thinning at the top. And then, you know, as time progressed, it, you know, I was 30 years old. I woke up. I had waves all over everywhere else. But right here at the top, I had no hair. So I just had made an uh, executive decision just to go ahead and bald it. And I've been balding since I was 30. Um, before then, maybe I said I started balding when I was 26. So I was using the, the, the spray and the fillers and all of that. So it'll look full whenever I go get a fresh cut. But after it wear off, you know, I got a bald spot there. So it was a real confidence you know, situation for me, you know, and trying to find myself again and understand, like, my I leaned on my hair, not saying my physique wasn't good or anything, like, it was just more of my hair was my, it was my bragging point, because, I mean, if you go back and you watch the videos, you know, I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm talking cash shit, you know, and, and that's what it's about, it's about, you know, you know, it's exactly what Coach Prime is embodying in those young men in Colorado, it's, it's the confidence. Don't let my confidence uh, intimidate you. You know what I'm saying? And for the people that it wasn't intimidated by, I got a lot of mail. I got a lot of messages from all of y'all from my Facebook and YouTube back when they could send messages on YouTube. Like, I appreciate everybody who ever liked, shared, reposted, tagged, you know. And at this time, I wasn't DJing. You know, I was just young, doing music on my laptop, you know, recording videos about my hair. You know, the second video that's up on my page is I was actually in the Bahamas on vacation with my best friend in college. Uh, we were in Bahamas for a week, and I brought my laptop with me, and I just said, man, I might as well shoot a video in Paradise. Like, why not? And um, shout out to Paradise Island Hotel. You know, they, 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 they accepted us. They embraced us, and... I got good content out there, and that's what you see on my older videos. And I'm just glad my, my page has progressed to what it is now and what it is today. And honestly, I wouldn't, say, I wouldn't change it for the world. You know, what started me DJing is I got tired of competing, doing music. You know, uh, everything is competition. They don't want you to hear your new music because they don't want you to steal ideas and go to the studio. And it's just always little nit little little small things like that that just turned me off about music but I mean I understand you know there's a lot of copycats out there but at the end of the day it's all about you being you and like I said I appreciate everybody that's been receptive to my new content and I hope that y'all give me another chance you know I'm just trying to bring professional content to you so you can have something you know that this young man has started like just it'll show my growth I was young. I was 18, 19 years old when I started this YouTube, you know, and, and before I knew it, I had over 100,000 100, views, 50,000 views, m more on top of that, another 50,000. Like, it just was, it was a lot, you know, and I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't know how to monetize it. I didn't know how to, you know, make it a business, but I knew what I wanted to do, and I, that's what I wanted to do is provide informational videos, you know, teaching people how to get waves and that was my passion you know once I got that taken away from me it was kind of hard for me to refocus my energy on anything else that's why I took a hiatus then once I started doing this DJ stuff I'm dropping albums I'm, I'm, I'm going on tours I'm actually getting real notoriety by big people in the industry um it made it made it made sense to me you know DJing it might be my thing that I might do for the rest of my life like DJing is it you know and honestly, I take my craft serious. I got, you know, controllers over here and plenty of equipment. And, you know, I practice and I put the work in and I don't make excuses. Everything that I ever did was self-taught. I, 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 I shot my own videos. I edited my own videos. I put out my own content. I own all my content. So that's one thing you have to respect and and support because at the end of the day, like, that's all I ever wanted to do was create good content for y'all. 
And not even for y'all, I didn't even know who I was doing it for. But when I started getting these DMs from single mothers and young kids about, man, how do I get my ways right? And da da Why do I wear my do rag at this time? And when do I wash my hair? And, you know, I got all y'all messages. I, it's love and respect, you know. And I still get them to this day. But like I said, I just want y'all to get on my journey of how I progress as a person and where I'm trying to go with my life. You know what I'm saying? Uh, obviously, waves ain't in them more I'm bald. And it's not a problem. You know, good thing I got a good shape head. <laughs> but I just want to keep providing content. You know, the things that I do with my artists, the Smokers Man Cave series, that's actually an artist podcast where artists come through and they give me their perspective on their on their artistry we listen to their music i give them a full detailed outline of what i like about their music or what i don't like if i don't like it the, you know you can see the real reaction it's really live I'm, i don't i don't hear none of these tracks before i let y'all hear it you know we hear it at the same time for that purpose of the show and you know my other podcast two bros in a random you know, shout out to my other partner, Polo. Shout out to my boy, Slice of Bryce. Shout out to everybody that I'm collabing with on up and coming work. You know, my boy, JJ, he was on an episode with me. It, You know, I, I appreciate the support and all my friends and, and family members that watch and subscribe and share and let people know. And by word of mouth is how we make this thing work, you know. And honestly, I just want to be the best person. You know, I could be for my kids, you know what I'm saying? And by y'all supporting me and y'all supporting the page and the and the program and sharing, subscribing, make sure you hit that button. And, you know, it keeps me going. It keeps me motivated. It keeps me on my toes of bringing more, more and more content to you, more professional looks. Um, I'm actually working on my studio right now. Um, it came a long way from where I was, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, like I said, during that time, you know, people, major people in my life has passed away. I'm pretty sure in yours as well. If it has, you know, uh, God rest the, 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 uh, the dead. But I just, I just want to be a beacon of light into your life. If you ever, ever watch any of my content and you were inspired by any way, make sure you drop a comment down below. And let me know, man, because it's those little things like that and those little messages that I get on Instagram and Facebook that l keep me going. Keep, let me know that I'm in my lane and I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. And I'm in my and my, I'm walking in my purpose. And without being long winded, you know, we had to have the conversation. You know, it started with me doing Wave Builder and that didn't work out. I lost my hair. I, my confidence was messed up. I started DJing by myself, you know, throwing my own parties. To now I'm in the clubs and now I'm working for other promoters. Now I'm working. I'm, I even had a few nights myself. The club just gave me the free reign of doing whatever I want to do because I'm passionate about my, my craft and I take this seriously. Um, I hope you take a, take a ride with me on this new journey as far as being a DJ, you know, I hope to get a thousand subscribers so we can start going live to you so I can start doing live streaming, you know, uh, DJing events for you. Um, like I said, like, share, subscribe. It's your boy DJ Lolo. It's all love. Thank you for the support over the years and hope to get new support. Let's go. Yeah. Blue season. Blue season. Blue season. Blue season. Blue season. DJ Lolo.